Hi, welcome to my channel. If you are not familiar with who I am, my name is Ashley Bradley and I am a portrait photographer from Pennsylvania. In this video, you are going to be watching me uh, photograph a maternity session. It was one of the last maternity sessions that I did photograph for 2022. So you will see um, a Christmas setup as well as a couple other setups. And I will also show you how I backlit and styled one of my images, so stick around. So I actually didn't film the process of me creating this setup today. Um, it is the last, I have three more sessions for the end of the year. So they actually all are maternity sessions. Um, so I'm going to be showing you what I have set up for this. I am waiting on my client to arrive. She's on her way from hair and makeup currently. Um, it's been a crazy morning um, with the holiday being right around the corner. Just preparing for that and then preparing for this and making sure everything is set to go for my time off for the holiday. Um, so we are going to be doing one Christmas setup. She is bringing a pair of uh, button-up pajamas for her and her partner. So we are going to be photographing her in that. Um, this is the scene that I created for that. The next setup I'm going to be doing is a um, swing setup. So my swing that I hang from the ceiling in here and then I decorate it with flowers. We're gonna be doing a variety of uh, pastel floral colors and she is going to be wearing a blue um, tool gown. The next setup that she is going to be doing is a green fabric setup that is inspired by another setup that I had done a few months ago. Um, and then the last setup we are going to be doing is a fine art nude and incorporating some flowers. Uh, you probably won't see the filming of that, um, but you might see the final results of that just because she will be nude, so I'm not going to be filming that. Um, so I'm going to show you what I created. Okay, so this is the setup that I have for my Christmas pajama setup. I actually had something quite different in mind, but I had gotten sick a few weeks back, so we had to actually reschedule her session, um, which is why I have two different sessions today and um yeah so this i was actually watching the movie elf with my kids <laughs> and the scene where he kind of created that whole explosion of christmas in the toy store i was inspired to kind of create something a little similar um i have i was thinking a more cozy atmosphere for the clients so they'll be sitting in here they'll probably be photographing from this angle um, and I have some lights on the floor because I'm going to be shooting through those to get that nice unbroken effect so yeah I am super excited for them to arrive and I can't wait to photograph this setup and then as always I like to have all of my um, clients garments steamed and ready to go so we have her blue dress here and that's what she's going to be wearing and um, I have the green fabric back here this is what we're going to be doing um, for like this fine art nude fabric setup um, it's gonna be backlit this one we're uh, using with the swing um, I like to have my clients snacks ready to go because usually the mom has been in hair and makeup for two hours and she might be thirsty or hungry when she arrives and to prevent her from possibly passing out or feeling lightheaded, I like to make sure she is well taken care of. Um, and then I have the rest of my stuff kind of hiding over here because we will be playing Tetris um, in the studio today to um, go back between the natural light and the studio light um, you have probably seen in my previous videos. So I have my flowers sitting here and the swing is kind of where's my swing and i have my swing ready to go this is actually the other end um from behind the winter wonderland 
So I like to typically stuff a few things in this corner that you won't see in the picture, just to make sure we can move through each setup efficiently. Alright guys, so since I did stop filming while I was creating that backlit image because my client was doing a fine art nude and she was in a thong and just pasties, I decided that um, I would not film that just to make her feel comfortable. But I did want to show you how I set up and lit that image um, just so that you have an idea of how it was done. Um, I did use a white Savage seamless paper. Right now I just have gray set up. Um, you probably saw me starting to set up um, the look and then I cut out the film or cut out the footage. So what I did to light that image and it's the way I light a lot of my backlit images is I have my like I said white Savage seamless. You can uh, go with a different brand seamless paper. Savage is just my favorite and it's pretty easy to get. You can usually order it off of Amazon. It's here pretty quickly. Um, my studio is narrow, so my seamless is usually just under eight, about eight feet, because my studio is only 10 feet wide, so my stand can't reach the entire back. Um, I could get a stand that would go to the wall, but not really, because um, it's windows behind here, so it's just a regular stand. Um, anyway, so I have two different lights that I use for my backlit images. Um, right now I'm only working with one strobe and then I have some continuous light. I am getting a second strobe on the way. I do have a different brand strobe that I take outside, but it's not the Godox. Godox is what I use. Um, anyway, so you saw I had uh, my Godox strobe was right here. It was on Power 1 slash 16. Um, and then I had my box modifier on it. It did not have a grid. It was just the modifier with the diffuser on the outside of it. And that is placed into this corner. Um, after I place my light that is going to be on my backdrop, and I usually have it lighting like straight forward. So hoping that this light's going to spread going across the entire white backdrop versus just being... Um, controlled to just one area because it is on the um, box, I think that's what it's called. Um, so yeah, it's facing parallel to get the entire backdrop lit. Then what I do is I take my 42 or 41 inch PLM and then if you are working with a second strobe, you would want to diffuse it. 
um, since I was working with continuous light, I took both of my diffusers off and just worked with um, the inside. So I used um, white lined PLMs. So it was a white lined PLM. Um, then I had put it at a 45 degree angle on the opposite side of my client. And then as high as it could go facing towards her. Now I use a continuous light so the power is a lot less and so if you were using a strobe you would use a lesser power than the strobe you were using in the back. You want your back light to be brighter than the light that is in the front. That's just what I did to create this image. Um, sure there's another way to do it. That's how I did it. Um, then the next thing that I did because I don't have an assistant so I took one of my light stands that doesn't have anything on it. I'm not using it right now. And then I took my fabric. You could use any color you want. I used green sheer because that's what the client had selected. And then I just take my clips and clip it to the top. And you want to weight it. That's pretty important, but I'm not going to weight it right now. So what I did is I doubled it up to make it smaller. Should probably do that before. So I doubled it up, doubled up my fabric, then I'm going to put it on, clip it to my light stand. I did it higher than this. Um, I'm just showing you for purposes now how I did it. So you can definitely create a higher look. Um, weight your stand. So it's not falling on your client, or if you're doing a model call, it's not following on your model. All right, so all of my fine art nude images for my client's comfortability, and it always depends on them, I always have them bring a, a, like a nude color thong, and then I give them pasties, just like plain pasties to put on, um, just to help them feel a little more comfortable because um, not everyone wants to be naked, but the pictures are really pretty, and then I just edit them out in Photoshop or cover them however. So the way I did this drape is I had it coming over her breast and then wrapped it around her belly and it came down here to her thigh and then what I had was the dad was pulling this corner all the way down the corner super tight. So we had it tight going here and then tight going this way and then we did a couple different poses. So it was backlit, there's still light coming to light her face a little bit, and then we have the fabric coming this way. And then in Photoshop, um, because I do have a narrow studio, I have to edit out the strip box, and then I also have to extend the backdrop and do quite a bit of retouching. But that is how I created that look, and we'll see the final images now. I hope you enjoyed this video guys. I hope you found it helpful in some way, shape, or form. If you enjoyed the content, please like and subscribe to my channel and I will see you next Tuesday. Bye.